Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Laff here. On this one here, I had a call from a customer. Actually, his daughter had called him. He's out of town and uh, he's got no heat. And it's an oil fired um, boiler over there. And I got zone valves. So I went over there. One of the zone valves was bad. I, I, I took it apart and the thing blew up in my face. I couldn't believe it. I've worked on a lot of zone valves. I've never had one pop on me like that when I took it apart. But that one did. I got that on camera. That was kind of cool. But I put a new zone valve head on there. The zone valve part was okay. And uh, you know, we wired the new one on there and uh, fired it up, purged the air from the system. Didn't really had a little bit of air, nothing major. That's what the problem was. The zone valve bad. The zone valve wasn't wasn't opening up the um, going down all the way and opening the zone valve up. So. So that's the one on that's the deal on that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Alright guys, we're down here, no heat call. I think it's one of them zone valves is a bad. We're off on limit here, so let's check the zone valves. I've been here before a few times. First floor east. Suckers red hot. That's probably the problem. That one's hot too. That one's calling. See it? Mm -hmm. This one's not calling. First floor west. That's the one that we're having a problem with is that one right there. The other level won't come down. Then it's hot. It's a bad head. I'll show you how to check it. I guarantee you, the head's bad. The sucker's red hot. I don't think there's air in the system, too. Circulator's running. Falls like there's air in the system. Shit. Holy shit, look at that fucking blew apart on me. That one's definitely a problem. <laughs> no wonder why they got no heat. We get another head. Never had a blow a pot on me like that before. First time for everything, I guess. Alright, I checked the voltage, it's off. I got the switch off over there. What I usually do is I usually check it, make sure it goes down easy with my pliers, which it does, see? So if I put a new head on there, it's not sticking, it's not leaking, so. Look at that, the fucking head blew apart. Not good. Not good at all. Red, white, and green. I know the power's off to it, so I'm okay. I'm gonna check the, check the voltage.
put it on there and spin it. That's it right there. Turn it on. It takes 90 seconds for it to energize, but that's something I'll blow apart. Let's blow apart. Smells cooked. It energizes in 90 seconds and that lever should pull down nice and easy. And it wasn't on that one. Guys got a well here, it's not the greatest use in the well to put a gear out, but Sound too good over there. Sounds wonderful. Step over a dollar to pick up a penny. Fourteen years. That's a long time. Some more hill tags. Two thousand. 
I'm curious. No, I don't think it was the air, it was that head that looked bad for sure. Took a little power on it though. Cobwebs from hell here. by putting your hand on the holes you can tell if there's any air in it or not. It's coming back and nice and toasty. I think we're good, I don't think there's any air in it. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna make sure we push all these levers back up. If one will run wild. Come back nice and warm now. 